Yeah, you know. Oh God, it looks like God it looks like man, my hair is turning white. <laughs> <laughs> Who said, oh, somebody, I'm sorry, Renee and Kiwi were listening to our conversation. That's okay. In the Zoom room, they won't tell anybody. Okay. Yeah. So I, and you know, the funny thing was I was, okay, it's, well, okay. So we're live on Facebook, but I'm going to share it out. Um, so the funny thing was, I was like, uh, you know, getting ready. <clears throat> I thought, oh, it's Maya. I'm going to mess with her, you know, <laughs> when I was had, having to talk to the, uh, UPS on the phone, they messed up my package and all this other stuff's going on. And we're trying to get out of Northern California. We were supposed to go to Sedona. We, we, we had a place there for a week and we couldn't go and money and this and all that. Right. So I was thinking, Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to get on with Maya. I'm going to give her a hard time. I'm going to start talking about sacred sex and stuff like that. <laughs> and then I got on the phone with these people and they're just flat lying to me. You know, and I'm like, hey, look, I'm not like, you know, my package, y'all didn't do what you're supposed to do. I just want to get a refund. And, uh, uh, you know, on the difference between because they ended up delivering it, I could have paid like $110 less, right, which I don't have that kind of money. And then they were like, give me a hard time. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I think I screamed at Morgan. <laughs> and then I came in here. And then I was like, oh, it's Maya. Okay, well, that's okay. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to share it out. Yeah. So hello, everybody. I don't even know who's here yet. I am totally off. I'm and just you letting know, you I, know. I thought that we have this talk one hour later. Uh -huh. I even had it in my uh, calendar for one hour later. But all day something was telling me, no, 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 it's at seven. It's at seven. And then I yeah. saw your post. I'm like, oh, yeah, OK. <laughs> Well, I think it was, you know what, I think that was on our end because uh, we had a, a daylight savings. England changes first and then like two weeks later we changed. Ah, so I think uh, that's probably what happened. Yeah, mm -hmm. I need to, we had a couple like that come up. There's uh, 21 people in the house. Uh, we're not doing our normal routine today because Maya's here. <laughs> so we're not going <laughs> to do anything normal if Maya's here. But I'm just going to share through the network real quick to some affiliate groups. And uh, if you guys could help us, if these shows resonate, because we're really being suppressed big time. Like uh, our audience is, you know, it's it's uh, it's the engagements are stronger than they ever been. Meaning if somebody walks in the door, they stay for the whole show. There's a lot of shares. There's a lot of engagements. But the total views, they're either not giving that information out which is possible but anyway they're, they're way down so if you could share to your page or to a group we really would appreciate it we're going to get on the road in the next couple of days and we're going to be going somewhere where we're going to be refocusing on launching the Sology network so i'm not going to say it's going to happen i'm just going to say <laughs> that we're going to get back on that horse and ride it again and see if we can't make it happen because we're going to do this we're going to make this happen. We're going to have a universal platform where everybody like irresistible tribe can bring their stuff and put it on a different platform. That's not going to be suppressed or constricted by YouTube or by Facebook. We'll have a social uh, profile based social media platform as well. But the main thing is it's going to be a place where people can put their videos up and, you know, um, and not have to deal with the bullshit. <laughs> excuse me anyway i feel better now i need to go get a surfboard and go with you and we'll go surfing for a while <laughs> so maya um it's always so nice talking to you i really dig talking to you you're a cool chick and you do some great work and uh and we always have fun so <laughs> you know that's okay <laughs> so but anyway when i looked at you when you came on camera i was like what's wrong with you <laughs> <laughs> you're having the same type of day i'm having so let's make that the subject maybe to start with okay sure. like you know we talk about this stuff all the time all oh, these energies came down and mercury's in retrograde and pluto's doing some something with neptune and who the fuck knows i don't even know and i don't even care but <laughs> yeah, what i'm so trying cool. to say <laughs> is we've you know on one hand all this magic stuff's happening these these weird uh, atypical occurrences are happening in people's lives. You know, we get uh, gifted a cabin in the middle of the nowhere, you know, with these mountains around us and a river running by and deer running in the front yard and bears in the vicinity. 
I walked in the dark last night. That was freaky. But anyway, <laughs> but these things are happening. <clears throat> but at the same time, we still have these fluctuations. Yeah. And I know we talked about it before, but uh, God, man, I mean, I'm just like, tw and I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. But, and we're all going to be okay. But like, you know, what do we do? Do we just breathe? What do we do, Maya? Yeah, Tell you me. know, actually, yeah, I was, um, I just went spontaneously live in my, uh, in my online community today. And I was basically talking about this. Um, because my horrible day was yesterday. Today was better. Um, mm. And so I was talking about this, yeah, that, okay, it's not going to stop. This, these mm. things will go on. We will, uh, you know, go up and go down. And I, I seriously think, you know, we will have still all of these emotions, all of different experiences. But then I thought, that actually we are exploring who we are because you can only really get to know yourself in your essence when you experience things that are out of your normal, you know, out of the comfort yeah. zone, out of what you know. And then you actually see what you are capable of, what you can actually do. You yeah. know, if, if we think, if I think for myself, uh, seven years ago when was my you know big 2012 i was so scared i couldn't even speak in a small group because i was just too scared and now i was on the stage twice already and i would have never come to this point if i didn't experience all of the shit <laughs> you know that happened in these seven years and if i wasn't pushed into feeling very uncomfortable and into making the step. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think maybe that's, you know, and usually, usually um, I'm, okay, I'm in pretty good shape. I mean, usually, you know, I do my job and I mean, and, and no matter what I show up and if I do have a problem, I let you know, <laughs> so <laughs> I let everybody know up front. But one of the things that I've always done is um, for the last eight years is, when I get in a certain space, um, and I think this one's a little different because I want to differentiate what people are feeling using this as an example, but I usually go back and say, okay, what happened eight years ago? You know, Jesus face appeared in the trees and talked to me. What happened two or three months later? You know, a big uh, dome of light appeared over me and the wind stopped and, you know, these miraculous divine episodes and that happened to me and everyone else. And I start to think, okay, why are you getting upset? Why are you getting worried? Why are you getting stressed? You know your mission. You know who you are. You're coming into your power more every day. No, it doesn't make any sense. But look at all that you've done. You know, you can't argue with that. Maybe I'm just sharing that because maybe that'll help somebody. Because if, mm -hmm. if like you said, if you look back seven, whatever years ago, where were you at? And where are you at now? So. I think, you know, for me, it tells me have a little faith, which is yeah. my number one thing, you know, have a little faith in yourself and in this crazy, miraculous thing that's happening around the world with us and our friends, you know, I mean, it's amazing what's happening. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, I also think so yesterday was my, my uh, party, party time day, <laughs> you know, and everything was like, I was just thinking, how is this possible? I have done so much work. I am, you know, like I know, I know how to react when challenges come. I do trust, I, I do stay centered. I'm, I'm looking at myself all the time. I'm, I'm checking in, um, you know, where am I running on old programs still? How can I change it? I think I'm really aware and Till days come like yesterday mm -hmm. when I'm questioning everything or not questioning yeah. everything, just feeling lost in some areas of my life, you know, yeah. and I'm, I'm thinking, you know, how, why, how is it possible? Haven't I done so much that this yeah. shouldn't happen anymore? But then what I feel is, you know, we are 
souls that are incarnated mm. in a human body. So we went through many lifetimes and it, it really feels to me that now we are clearing like really the deepest patterns that we brought with us. Yeah. So I, I agree. That, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. You know, we've, we've, you know, everyone knows we connect every night. So over the last, this happened like, what's, I don't even know, let's say Tuesday. So we had this problem. We had this car and thank, thank the universe for this car. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, it had a, it had a, you know, breakdown, which I, when I saw it, I was like, okay, this is cool because I have a feeling we're about to get on the road, which is exactly what happened. I could kind of read what was happening. So then we took it in and we thought we were leaving last week. And then we find out that there's this big problem and we got to get this part and it's going to take this long and all this stuff. And I, and so, you know, I was like, you know, we were like a little bit, you know, you know, you know, you kind of like get your expectation up and then, but anyway, the, the stuff that has been coming in, first of all, I, I opened up the, the thing on like Sunday and I was like, Hey, I don't even follow Mercury retrograde, but it's going to be over on Wednesday. And Morgan's like, I haven't felt a Mercury retrograde in years, but I felt this one. I'm like, yeah, you know? So I thought, well, okay. So the universe is just putting us off for our own best interest. So we can land off of this retrograde, land off all these energies, land off the 1111 and just kind of chill for three days and then hit the road for three or four days. So what I'm trying to say is sometimes when these things happen, I mean, you know, you pe people say, well, everything happens for a reason. Well, yeah, but at a higher level, I think, yeah. Because the other thing that's coming out in, in these nightly communions uh, the last two or three nights has been that uh, letting us know what we're going through and how we've gone through it. You know, actually getting information from the higher selves saying you've done a great job. And I think, I think we've all done a great job. I think we've all done a significant amount of shadow work. And the bottom line is that is opening space for this unknown, unknown, unfamiliar, but magical new, you know, experience. Yeah. God, I'm, I'm just all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk but about no, sacred I, sex. <laughs> I think okay. ultimately um, our learning or what we are learning is to to really go with the flow. I mean, we all say all yeah. the time, let's mm -hmm. go with the flow, but what, what this actually means, I think, is that you are just all the time completely aligned. And when something comes, you know, like maybe a car breaks down, our yeah. first thing is we need to fix it because we need to go where we yeah. were going. But you know, what if this car broke down actually so that you would stop and you would rest yeah. and you would avoid some bigger prob problem problems that yeah. would happen if you went on? Um, I think, yeah, it's true. that's slow. And it's we true. Are learning this I, it, it, yeah. Yeah. I, it's true. It really is. It's true. I think that the, the uh, the worrying, I, I, I don't like worrying. I, I never have liked it. You know, yeah, I never have liked, it. I never saw the necessity for it. it, it to me, it just makes things uh, worse than they are. And, but I agree with you. There's something a little bit different now. And I think what's happening is because we all went through these faith quakes, you know, so many people had these traumatic experiences like, okay, how can this be fair universe? How can this yeah. be fair? God, goddess, whatever. And, and, uh, and we learned a deeper trust, uh, a, a deeper faith to trust and believe, right? And I think these little things as, you know, as superficial as they seem, they actually mean a lot. Yeah. And so they are opportunities for us to say, you know what, I'm just going to have faith and chill out. You and know, you know, I have to walk to this. So when we say that we trust or that we have faith, doesn't this actually mean that we trust that something is in a certain way even though we don't have proof right wouldn't yeah, that be yeah. the definition so yeah. i think that when we 
actually integrate this. We don't even call it trust or faith anymore because it's, you know, yeah. because we don't need to believe something that we don't have proof of. It's just, it just is. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so I know what you mean. Yeah. We are still, Excellent. I guess, crossing that bridge or integrating. Uh, yeah. Have you been having uh, any particular transmissions or downloads come in in the last, you know, in the, in, in, the, in the last couple of weeks? I mean, are you getting any information on a personal level or on a collective level, um, especially as we're coming into the solstice in 2020? Yeah. Because uh, it because it seems like that. I don't know, God, it's been so many times we're like, okay, you know, when this comes, this is going to happen. And, but it really feels like something's different. And even though it's not always comfortable, it feels like something's different. It feels like something's working, you know? Yeah. yeah so mainly, have you... yeah, no. So um, a big thing that's really interesting for me is how it has changed for me the way I receive information and the information I receive. Uh, so in the, let's say, past, I don't know, three years, uh, I was receiving a lot, you know, now the light influxes are coming, now these codes are coming, and this, this type of information. Now, I think maybe since summer or so, um, I feel I am put into service more on the ground. I don't know how to, to explain it clearly, uh, yeah, like in the best way. So I'm not receiving anymore so much information, what type of light codes or what, I don't know, plasma or whatever. I'm not receiving that anymore so much, but I'm receiving mostly the information that this remaining time before we step into 2020, is extremely important for us to prepare for our missions, but for real, you know? When I say yeah, mission, yeah. I don't mean something that is, you know, like what we are forced to do or is difficult, but our sole mission, our most natural expression of our essence, that's mission for me. And yeah. uh, I really feel that this, and I'm not so big on dates, you know? But it does feel that as we step into 2020, it's, I don't know, like a whole new start of yeah. us really creating mm -hmm. what we came here to create. I feel that. And I feel that we are yeah. so being pressed and pushed and squeezed now because we really need to get rid of all the old programs. Like now yeah. is the time. Now is the time. Yeah to get rid of all of this, do what we can and really step forward courageously on the path. Yeah. And we know what's the path. It's not like we don't yeah. know, you know, maybe we yeah, don't know you're right. where we will live or, you know, this kind of details <laughs> in a way. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. At least, uh, we, yeah. We know what's our path. We know what's our mission. We know we know what's this part of us that is calling and wants to come out. Well, yes, because the it's two things, one, going back to what I said earlier, you know, all these things that happened to us, all these divine episodes and divine intervention and all the stuff that we've all had on the individual level, uh, you know, that, that tells us right there that you're not crazy, you know, and there's a whole community now and the whole world blowing up with it. And then the other thing is, uh, for all of us, whether it was seven years ago or eight years ago or 20 years ago, or the lady that was on yesterday that started in 1993, starts doing light language at a, in a group wow. setting. She said, something came into my body. I stood up, put my arms out, and I started doing light language. And everybody's looking at her like, what the hell's the matter with you? You know, this is 1993. But what I'm saying is all of us, no matter what, whether we're in a relationship, not in a relationship, had a bunch of relationships, doesn't matter. We all listened to this guidance, mm. this guidance that we could not ignore it. And we tried and, and then we paid for it. And then just like you, you know, you, 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 
ended your your profession and you started on this journey that made no sense same here so that the energy of that to me is what you're talking about and the energy of all of us the miss use the word mission they're all like coming together to me it's mm -hmm. like a big puzzle coming together yeah. and what i really really resonate with you and a few other people i've talked to have said the same thing that we are we are it's time to go to work like yeah. like we don't even we're not even going to have to go look for it it's going to come to us because the need is going to be there you know from the vast majority yes. uh because you know because uh this this atmosphere of in your face and contrast between extremes polarities is getting yeah. bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and we've talked about it a lot but one thing i want to add here yes the work will come to us but as i was writing last week i, I wrote a post and i titled it stand out and you know what i meant was don't be afraid to stand out step into your light because you need to switch on your light so that the people yeah. that need your gift your service yeah. what you know what you can teach how you can support so that they can find you it's not time to hide anymore and you know okay before we were hiding literally like we didn't tell anyone yeah. and so on and now maybe we have a different way of hiding you know we are in mm -hmm. our safe spiritual communities with people who understand us and we you know we are like okay we came out but actually from the outer world we are still hiding maybe mm -hmm. you know yeah so yeah. we well i mean yeah i mean and there's been a lot of that uh god this lady yesterday esme esme Avilin, and she she started doing that light language in 1993 and you know just balanced beautiful just really cool but she said <clears throat> you know she said even from the early days she kept being pushed to step out and i said mm -hmm. well what does that mean and she said well just to tell more people what i was experiencing so i mean some of these people have come from telling three or four people and being estranged and ostracized and kicked out of families and shunned and they just kept going and others have joined and uh you know i think you're right that's important it's important uh that that we step up now it really is important <clears throat> i mean what do we have to lose yeah what do we have to yeah i mean you you the last two three times i've talked to you you've evolved your your website you mm -hmm. went to subscription you're building a community I think these are the things and I'm one to be talking, right? Because I've been sitting on not sitting on but trying to, to uh, assist in manifesting this 24 seven 365 universal cast network. And, and, and that's what I, that's what we're about to do. You know, and I think that's indicative of what everybody's faced with now is even if you make a mistake. Yes, I think the effort of action and faith is going to even if it doesn't turn out in your mind right the energetic yeah. force behind it because of the intention is going to create something in this new energy that's actually going to be better you know yes we just need to do it because if we don't take the first step we cannot take the next ones i yeah. mean you know we we just have to start and then that's how we move energy and that's how you know we will meet some people that will help us to the next step we will maybe change what we thought we were main, meant to do we will evolve yeah we just we need yeah. to show up we need to start it's not time to wait anymore and you know if you think i'm sure so many of course you know um, you have these shows and i'm sure so many people told you that they were happy that you bring these people and and that they can see oh there are more people like me so mm -hmm. it's okay that i am like i am we need to normalize yeah. this i feel now yes you know, the, the the work the service of the light worker is now time that it becomes normal normal yeah. like you would go whatever hairdresser mechanic i think it's time <laughs> that this kind of it is that we offer become normalized just normalized. it is 
Yeah. 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 And I think, I, I think it's really important too, because part of the evolution of what you're speaking about, where, where energy practitioners and, and those associated in these communities become real vocations, right? Or like, mm -hmm. this is a real mm -hmm. network, even though we're on YouTube and Facebook, and that mm -hmm. may seem amateurish. But what I'm getting at is it is becoming a, 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 a real, for lack of a better word, commodity, a viable product or service. Okay. And yes. I think in the, in the light worker communities, there's been a big deal about, oh, well, uh, universal intelligence, uh, information, skills, and abilities downloaded is free. Well, I don't disagree with that. Everything is free, but we're in a transition where we can spiritually bypass supporting each other based on a, 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 you know, a thought pattern of spiritual bypassing saying, Oh, I don't need to do that, but I'll go pay for this and I'll go pay for that. And I'll go pay for this. What I'm trying to say is not only is it at the time to step up with your own expressions and individuality skills and abilities, transmissions and downloads, but it's also time to step up and support each other. And if yeah. some people, if some people have come to the decision in their path that they want to charge a, a specific number, then support that. If some people aren't there, then support that with a contribution. We don't have this figured out. We don't know how this 5D commerce is going to work. But we know one thing, like everything else on this trip, it doesn't gain in power and force unless we step into that power and force first ourselves and then the things that we're doing in the community that we're in. It's time to support each other. It really yeah. is. It yeah. really is. It can't just be the Mayas and so-and-so just walking out there alone anymore. We can support each other. It's not going to break anybody's bank. You know what I mean? Oh. And I believe the universe is going to support us for for the efforts that we've had over the last few years. And I think that's what we're coming up on too in 2020, because a lot of people are tired, a lot more tired than me. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Right. I know, man, I had a day like three days ago. I'm just like sitting around doing nothing. I'm like, I, I don't want to do anything. Like, you know, I, don't, I walked up to the store cause our car's in the shop and I'm like, I don't want to do nothing. I just want to sit around like a vegetable, like a potato yeah, and just, you know, like, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The, uh, how about the, uh, cause I don't really know how you, everybody connects differently. Right. And, and we have activity every day, Morgan and I pretty much, pretty much. And there'll be days, there'll be periods where we don't have anything happening, but over the last, few days, it's really picked up, you know, it's really picked up like, like, uh, you know, two nights ago, I counted six dragons in the room. Uh, uh, she watched two, um, two aspects, higher dimensional aspects from other specific other planets come into the room and merge with each of us. I mean, these are metaphoric or however you want to call it, but what they're all leading up to is we're reflection of everything else. We're all in the same boat, what's happening here. And it seems we're pulling in more and more of our aspects, which means wisdom, which means love, you know, and all the things that go with it. And there's got to be a reason for that. We There's got to be a reason that we're pulling all this information in right before 2020 in preparation for it. Because mm -hmm. I think at this point, now it's about what are you going to do with this? You know, yeah. are you going to, are you going to stand up on a pedestal and tell everybody, Hey, guess what? Kuan Yin came in and talked to me last night. Let me tell you what she said. I'm not making fun of people. What I'm saying is it's time to put it into action. What's Todd going to do with it? What's Maya going to do with it? What are yeah. you going to do with it? Right? Yeah. I, I Gosh, feel I'm... exactly that because, you know, and by the way, just for the people who don't know me, when I get red like this, it means that the energy transmission is just going crazy. <laughs> I was just going to ask you about that. Yeah, I thought I thought you just I thought maybe before you got on, you had you know like a you know sacred sexual etheric heroes commons with some friend around the world or something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe without me no, but I noticed. <laughs> I notice you. I notice how red yeah. your face is. But we, you know, and I'm not just saying that. But we, we actually, 
every time we've ever gotten together, I feel the same way. It's like something clicks. I remember the last one we did. Yeah. I remember, I remember because I was outside in uh, up in that farm and uh, something went down, you know, I don't, I don't know, but uh, that's cool. That's very yeah. cool. So are you planning on doing any traveling or, or I know you're expanding your, your website and your community. Yeah. I've been watching your, your stuff. Um, the last couple of videos is like in the last few days, I saw those. Uh, I like the one that was about if you're feeling this way, <laughs> kind of like what we're talking about. If you're feeling this way, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, but are you planning on doing any traveling? Um, so, well, right now I'm still not planning. I mean, I'm going to Amsterdam uh, in December, but I was in London. Um, um, beginning of November, I returned on the 11 back to Portugal and uh, that was very interesting for me to be in a city for I think four days and in a huge yeah. city like London and yeah. it was extremely activating for me. I went through such a like <laughs> upgrade, mm. epic crazy upgrade that when I got back to Portugal, just four days later, I felt like I was away for a year. And I really feel mm. called to actually go to London more often and do some work there, workshops or something. I need to connect with some people. So I don't know if anybody from London is watching <laughs> who feels you, connection. Yeah. I don't know, send me a message. But I felt... Um, this I felt strongly and I was surprised, you know, because I I used to love London many years ago. I went often and then for many years I couldn't go because it was just so dense. I felt it just too much of city. Yeah. Of, and now I still don't think I could live there, but travel mm -hmm. and work, I feel yeah. I feel drawn and it surprised me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can pop it. Pop in and pop out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the same. I'm in the same boat. And in the next time you go to London, you should let me know because uh, the second the second biggest community in Sologi is in London, and oh, I don't really? remember the numbers specifically. But yeah, after New York City, it's London, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of friends over there that totally you know are into what you're doing. And uh, and if they don't know who you are, they would be. But yeah, we've got a lot of friends over there. So if you head over there, I could, you know, I could put the word out, but uh, yeah, I agree with you. Like, you know, we went, we came from Hawaii, went to LA and hung out there uh, for a few weeks. And, you know, it's, it's interesting these, these big cities because they're so different yet at the same time, you can, you can get activated. Like there is, there is, just a lot of contrasting, uh, you know, polarities and, and, and very visible, dense energy, yeah. you know, we felt a lot, you know, we went to Vegas, that was like really heavy, you know, we were just, I couldn't even come out of the room, I was sick, you know, and I don't get sick, I'm like, I can't go anywhere, you know, I can't do anything, this is like, something's going on, but, but I, but I think that uh, they're also power centers, and, and uh, there's reasons that, they're rooted in the matrix, uh, and we're having to de deconstruct that. And I think it's done through even a conscious and unconscious presence in yeah. the in you know being being placed on the grid in the in this geographic location. So, but I would say London's a big deal. I would I could see you going there and doing work. Yeah, I feel it strongly, and like I said, I was surprised, but I <clears throat> I put a strong intention to yeah. To your face is getting what your face is getting really red <laughs> <laughs> your face is getting really red so do you so when that happens i mean I, I probably asked you this before so like in the state that you're in do you connect do you just write do you receive yeah. information or images or what happens with you okay Understood. so when it's like this like now and it usually this happens either when i'm being in a conversation like this or you know interviewed for something or uh, during a session or when i do mentoring so when i sp when i'm connecting 
to one person or to mm. a group of people. And it's just like, like the best description would be when you plug um, something into the mm. into electricity and then yeah. uh, it goes. So I'm like, I'm feeling very hot now and cold at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. this wouldn't be a moment when I would start writing. When I start writing, yeah. the message is different. It's more like, a, I don't know, it's not so intense physically because yeah. this is physically also intense <clears throat> yeah 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 that that happens yeah that happens to us and it happened a lot you know where you get hot then cold and hot then cold but like the other night when when this it was like two nights ago and morgan took a nap like at four o'clock in the afternoon i knew something was happening i could hear ringing in the air and i kept getting you know i, I went for a walk and i kept in these downloads but what happened was it was cold it's cold here and we were like burning up, like just, just burning up, like, you know, going outside and, and it's, you know, enough, it's cold enough for two coats and not even having a coat on. That's how, that's how hot we were, you know? Yeah. So I guess burning DNA or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I'm, I, you know, is, is this, uh, you know, imbalance as I was today before we got started, you know, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm so excited about where we're all headed. I really am. Now, I <clears throat> wish there was some money in the bank. I wish there was some stability and all that, but I'm past it. I've let it go. And I think that's what we're all doing. Uh, but I am really excited to see where we're going to go because I don't believe that we're not going to see a direct impact on our collective experience. And I mean, big, big, you know, um, big things happening where the awareness is starting to hit people in the face that hey there's something going on and it's not just in the light worker communities i'm excited about 2020 yeah, yeah. i i feel that too and something that i want to mention um in connection to what we were talking about before when we were saying okay we are receiving this information but what am i going to do about it how am i going to use it and also about light workers <clears throat> just stepping out, uh, just talking about what we do, <clears throat> supporting each other. I feel this is also a reflection of the feminine and masculine coming into balance. Because if you think about it, what light workers, most of us, used to do was just uh, we are floating there, we are transmitting the information, we are, you know. Like I used to take all these selfies when I was transmitting through my eyes and they were powerful, people were, were receiving that, but that was a very feminine way, right? Of, mm -hmm. yeah. of transmitting. <clears throat> Whereas the masculine is just more grounded, more clear, more anchored. Mm -hmm. And when they start coming together, that's the union that I feel we yeah. also came here to embody. So I personally feel, I mean, it's interesting for me to observe my process and it feels really good how I went, I went from two years, you know, in the time when I lived in Bali and, you know, coming to Europe and Bali, I was mostly just floating and just tripping all day on these downloads and code activations. And I just couldn't do anything. Like I could, I just couldn't. And now, it has shifted in a way when this is flowing in and I can grab it and I can write it in a post in a way that people can <clears throat> not just receive the frequency, but they receive through the mind as well. Yeah. And you know, the mind is our helper when we move forward. It's not something we <laughs> should dismiss. It shouldn't be the leader. The leader is the heart and the soul. And the mind is, you know, the, well, not, not the slave, but the mind works for the heart. That, that's the shift that we are doing. So we need to speak to the mind as well. This I feel very strongly. Mm -hmm. And I feel now what's happening to me and I see <clears throat> also to many others, we are coming into balance. We are, you know, the feminine is, has taken the hand of the masculine energy and they dance and they create, let's say a more balanced creation, right? Because mm. it's yeah. not just the floating, 
but it's um, <clears throat> is the content that the feminine brings and is delivered by the masculine, but in one union, one mm -hmm. form <laughs> that actually then makes you know, the, the impact that we were all waiting for and, and feeling what we are supposed yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Um, and, and people have talked about it. Uh, I've watched uh, what the last two or three months. I watched in particular, because um, a lot of the 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 uh, the gender, the energetic gender plays out in the physical incarnated gender that matches like you know the, the masculine mm -hmm. and the male and so on. not always but but i've noticed uh at least the last two three months where there was a lot of of the you know with the divine masculine energy coming in there was a lot of wounded masculine being flushed out yeah. and i saw it in women <laughs> and men you know because obviously there's many more women in these circles than there are men at this yeah. point but what I saw on the other side of it was I started to see something I found was really interesting, which was the masculine action, right? Like, mm -hmm. like the true divine masculine is, it goes out and makes it happen. Yes. And I'm talking energy and that like the feminine energy is, is the womb is the, you know, is the muse and it's the, mm -hmm. the, the idea, you know, like the, 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 formless thought coming out and uh, he forms it right but i'm speaking energy and i start seeing that and i see people taking steps yes to create something and that's why i was saying earlier whatever it is go ahead and do it like you yes. know i've gone back and forth i'm just using me as an example to give people you know an idea i've gone back and forth with you know uh how do how do you do this you know mm -hmm. how do you how do you roll this out? Uh, how are you going to survive? How long is this going to go on? Do we charge? How much? You know, whatever the case is. And, 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 and I'm just saying that at some point, there's something inside of me, which I think is reflective of what's going on with everybody. And that is whatever you do, do something. Yes. Okay. Now it's time to do something. I mean, it was a good, <clears throat> if you didn't know what to do, don't do anything. We've actually moved into a space now of do something, do something, pull the trigger and don't look back yes. because your intention and your, because the important thing is your heart's intention. You know, that's really what it is. If you, the universe sees that even if no one else sees it, pull the trigger and don't look back. Don't regret, just keep going because what will happen is whatever you're doing is going to be supported by the universe and it's going to be refined just because you set yeah. something in stone today doesn't mean it's going to remain that way forever because we are energy we are yeah. creation and we're always changing yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that yeah exactly it's good it's good you know i mean <laughs> if somebody would show us i don't know seven years ago like everything we need to do and uh, all the changes that we would go through we would just go crazy and say bye i'm i'm i'm, I'm not going to yeah. do this yeah so you know yes we will change we will evolve we will expand this will always happen and you know i some time ago i made a post and i titled it exactly this do something and it was so very well received and for me yeah. it was just a confirmation that people are feeling this, like it's time to make a move, just do something, yeah. make the step, and then you will see what's next. But if you stay on that spot, then nothing will happen. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And you and you grow very agitated. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I, I've been, I've been sitting uh, on this on this rollout since March the 18th, and eating a lot of humble pie and learning a lot, and I'm happy for it. But I feel what you're feeling. I feel what you're saying. I mean, it, it, I really do. And I sat here and watched it. You know, I'm watching people do it. I'm watching Morgan coming out. She's working on a website. I mean, you know, I'm watching the energies uh, magnetized to each other. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in her case, people, you know, she's always done sessions. She's always been very quiet about it. She's never advertised it. And yet people are hitting her up going, hey, can I have a session? Uh, I think the other thing is, too, that I'm seeing, uh, which she's another example, and there there are many others, and that's and it happens on this show too, actually, and that's when people say, 
here's where I'm at. Here's what I did. Here's what I didn't do. Here's what I learned. Here's how I got my ass kicked. Here's how I expanded my heart. And they actually talk about the experience, not from a point of, oh, you need to do this and you need to do that. Not from that vantage point, but from just saying, this is what happened to me. Now, this is a skill I've been given. This is an ability I've been given. I'm going to share with you. But here's what happened to me. You know what I mean? I woke up yesterday. It was not very fun. Da, 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 da. And you know what? I'm watching, like on her post, I'm watching six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred people attached to it. With the way the algorithms are on Facebook now, that's impossible. But people are, are the universe is supporting or whatever when people are expressing their true experience, not from a let me tell you how to do it, uh, but from a hey, here's what I can offer you. Yes. pull out what you need or whatever, you know, uh, but I, but I've noticed it on this show. I notice how people respond when people come on and they, and they just bear their soul, you know, and like, Whoa, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still out of whack. A lot of new faces in the crowd and uh, I don't want to. Uh, uh, so let's see. So Renee Daniels, yeah, she mentioned something here a minute ago. I wanted to come back to it. She said, along the lines of what you're talking about. Yeah. So she says, you know, I can, in, in my life, when I have faced obstacles and then I surrender, the universe delivers something much grander than I could have imagined, which is what we were saying earlier. You know, which is the, the thing about these, like today, like today for me, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably half as good as I was when we started, but there's a part of me that knows when you go into this stuff, there's something good on the other side. So just yeah. chill out, try to align yourself and get ready to accept the prize because it's coming. Yeah, we are now it's good that we know this because before in the beginning, mm. we, we didn't know, but now we know, okay, wow, this is really intense, but yeah, there must be something big <laughs> on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, now, are you st still doing like the meditations? Are you still doing those? Or, or um, what are you what are you getting into right now? So right now, um, what I share for free, I share on my on my Facebook. And I'm, I mean, I still have um, the meditation with light language in, is on my uh, website. Mm -hmm. it's still accessible. Um, what I share now mostly on my on my public profiles is more of my experience, just what we were talking about now, of how yeah. I came out with my gifts, how I started yeah. to take steps. And I'm mostly now inspiring people to take steps because I yeah. feel this is yeah. now what I'm supposed to do. And then, you know, in my... <clears throat> In my online membership, I do have a monthly activation uh, yeah. where I like I feel into the topic for the month for the group, and um, we have yeah. a live call. And um, also in one on one, I I do light language uh, still because it's I mean it's a it's a huge part of my work. Um, light language. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever done light language on this show? Yeah. Yes. you have uh -huh. the god first time am i getting I old <laughs> yeah. the first time and one more i can't remember yeah i think i think i remember one time but i can't remember yeah i do remember one time yeah yeah yours was kind of different i remember that yeah it was powerful and the reason i had brought that up is because somebody had actually sent me a message and asked me to ask you because they said that uh and i don't know where they found it if it was on your site or whatever because I, because I have you on my YouTube too, and you pop up, and I, I watch some stuff there, and uh, but they said, uh, you know, that they really they dig your meditations and want to know if you know if there were going to be any more released or whatever. But I, I think that, you know, you've got irresistibletribe.com, right? Yeah. And then you have a Facebook presence, and you have a YouTube as well, so you guys can can look yeah. that up uh, irresistible tribe now do you do any type of online courses or anything like that yeah so like i said i have the <clears throat> the monthly membership 
uh, which mm-hmm. is a group thing. It's I think accessible. Um, and then I do I don't do courses right now. I do two types of one-on-one work because I really okay. feel it's such a powerful way for me to work one-on-one with a person. And so now I don't really do single sessions anymore the way I did it because I want to work with a person on making a bigger shift. So now actually just a few days ago, I put on mentoring. So it's like an eight week thing. And I have a deep dive activation session, which is actually one extended session and one follow-up integration session, because I do want to see the person at least twice because I've seen that it's really good to be there for the integration part because my activations are really powerful always. Yeah, that's what, yeah. that's what this message said. And I heard that before I've, and I've listened. I think I've listened to three of them uh, a while back. Um, but isn't it interesting how, and to me that's, and I'm not making fun of anybody um, at all. I'm just making an observation. It, isn't it funny how over the past year, I mean, I've talked to so many practitioners that their services have changed, yes. like they've evolved, like they've yes. gone from this to this, to this, to this. And I actually, for me, that actually resonates a lot. It really does because, you know, it's not like it was in the nineties or in the early two thousands where you could get Course of Miracles and you could go to a group uh, a meeting once a week with Course of Miracles group. And, but it's, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that the information is moving so fast. If I, if I look at somebody and they're evolving in what they're doing, then that resonates with me for some reason. That to me feels right. And I think we're going to see more and more of that. I really do. Yes. I really I, do. Yeah. It resonates what you say. And if I observe, if I just, Say, speak for myself you know I was just constantly changing my website because uh, once I put something and then in a couple of months already it was different but now I feel I'm coming into this union you know because I yeah. really combine the light language the galactic the cosmic thing with a very grounded approach and I've yeah. seen this really works uh, also for me and for the people who yeah who come to me and ask for mentoring yeah <laughs> perfect perfect i think we could have just we could just sit here in silence and actually pick up a lot of information that we've been talking about you know i mean i think that's coming too i think you know i can see where you know, practitioners are going to get, some will get to a point where, you know, come and have a session with me and you sit down and you just look at each other. (laughs) Nothing said because I don't know that energy is starting to really show itself. And uh, it's a good feeling, you know, to be honest with you, it's a good feeling. I know like in, in, in the past few months, as these energies have really been, uh, you know, serious energies. I mean, I don't want to say they have been intense at times, but I've noticed that a lot with Morgan and I, we just, we go quiet. And, and in that silence, you find, you find, well, everything that's not real kind of goes away, you know, yeah. and the mind's not working, you know, it's just like, wow. And that's gotta be, that's gotta be happening everywhere. It really does. You know, whether we're conscious of it or not, that yeah. telepathy thing has really got to be, it's happening everywhere. You know? And we've all experienced it. Yeah, you know? I- so you're not going anywhere anytime soon. You're not coming to the States anytime soon. I want I think, to come uh, to the States next year. Yeah. It's yes, my 2020. Intention. Yeah. 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 I think 2020 is going to be a big year for gatherings. And uh, God, I'd sure love to do one. You know, our f- uh, first big one uh, in the States. That would be great and have people coming in from all over. That would be awesome. Let you know? me know oh, yes. when you have an yeah. approximate date so I can, uh, you know, because I am definitely planning to come. I just don't yeah. know date wise yet, but I feel yeah. very strongly the call to come to the States. Yeah. Very cool. Well, maybe we can go surfing together. That would <laughs> yes. be cool. 
No, I'll watch. Some more. <laughs> I'll watch. <laughs> no, no. Uh -uh. I've had enough of that. I never tried it. <laughs> that was enough for me. So, okay. So irresistibletribe.com. And, yeah. and of course, you're on YouTube and Facebook. I look forward to seeing you again. I hope I'm in a better place next time I talk to you. But thank you so much for lifting my spirits and honoring us with your presence, sharing space with us. It's always it's always a pleasure talking to you. It's, it's fun and real. And I just want to say thanks. Yeah, thank you. I enjoyed it like always. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You take thank care. You. Yeah, you too. All right. See you in your red cheeks later. Bye. <laughs>